I don't know whose idea it was to come up with the idea for this segment that occurred tonight, but <laughs> this segment was so beautiful because it was so horrible. Like the idea of a serviceman jumping into the ring to try to defend America's honor, to try to prevent him from ripping down the flag. Like, I didn't even know if it was fake or not. I didn't understand what was going on. I thought that was a real guy that tried to jump in the ring. I'm like, who is this guy? Because you, know, you know, like, whenever fans try to jump the barricade and get in the ring, they always fumble to try to get in the ring. They look all awkward and shit. This guy, like, fumbled and bumbled into the ring, got up and got his head kicked off. And what it does is it gives Rusev nuclear heat. And it sells the idea that the kick is vicious. That guy was bleeding. He like looked out of it and dazed and shit. If that was a plant, then it was beautiful. And I have to I have to believe it was a plant because I don't know if they, they were sectioning out time for Big Show to come out and be all pissed off and stuff like that. And if it was fake, then hey. Or I mean, if it was real, then hey, that, that, that's something too. Bottom line in this to me is Big Show coming out Initially, when he like was so infuriated that he couldn't find the words to express what he needed to do to Rusev, I thought that was wonderful. He should have stopped it right there because as he continued to talk, it just got more and more red, white, and blue. I'm going to kick your ass shit. It, it wasn't the same kind of feel at that point. But initially, they sold the story right there. I'm invested into the match. I really want to see it. I think Rusev does come away with it. Because I think he has more to benefit from it. I don't think Big Show is the guy to, to take him down. But I, I, I am anticipating what it's going to look like. What, what they'll end up trying to do to each other. So that was, that was really great tonight. I know I've said before that I'm completely tired of this whole patriotism thing. Because it's been done time and time and time again. Even with just Rusev. Like, let's not even talk about the millions of other times it's been done in WWE. Just with him, it like retread feud after retread feud. But this time around, I do have to give WWE props because they zhuzhed it up a little bit. They added something extra to it. And I really liked it. And I've been liking this entire feud with Rusev and Big Show. Going all the way back to... Big Show knocking the hell out of Rusev a few weeks ago on SmackDown. Then you had that match that they had. I believe it was last week on Monday Night Raw. I thought that that was a really good match. And it got me excited about the possibility of seeing them do it once again at Hell in a Cell. And now that we're at a point where the final sell for Big Show versus Rusev is this segment where you have the military member trying to defend the honor of America also. And he's like so enraged. He's like, fuck that. You are not touching that flag. You will not disrespect that flag. And for Rusev to knock the hell out of him, man, like I was sitting there like, did this shit really just happen? And it actually did happen. And I really liked it. I know a lot of people, anytime you start to blur the line between kayfabe and reality a little bit too much they get uncomfortable in situations like this but me sitting here right now i wasn't uncomfortable with it, it i i liked it there were a lot of questions as to whether this was real or whether this was a part of the script look i'll put it like this if it was an air force guy i would say that that shit was 100% completely scripted because we're smart enough not to do stupid stuff like that. But the guy was from the army and they're special, so... Um, well, damn! <laughs> it it, it might have been real because, you know, we, we have to look out for them, so, yeah. Shots fired? <laughs> not, uh, yeah, it's I a little... I, I don't know. It's kind of weird to say shots fired when it comes to military personnel. It... It, it, it's friendly banter that that that's something that we can only do with each other but uh friendly fire <laughs> anyway can we can we talk about the fact that even with everything that happened tonight Rusev is still facing this <laughs> the I don't hell know like, he some is. people are looking at it like shit the, the, the fan was stupid for jumping in the ring Rusev was just I'm, defending himself I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> the, the like, we've seen that Rusev happen is still uh, the a face. few times before like we'll see a fan try to slide in the ring and the wrestler will get in a few shots like you dumb motherfucker and the fans all cheer I'm like yeah get that dumb fuck out the ring <laughs> and also the thing on the big show one reason that I really like the fact that he actually stayed out there was because 
he actually went looking for Rusev and he said those words, I don't care about Hell in a Cell. I want to find your ass right now. And that adds a bit of realism to it because we've seen too many times before people are okay with like we, we've said before, uh, like joked about the uh, invisible boundary between the ring and the outside of the ring. Like when you're chasing behind somebody, you just fucking stop at the ropes, like stuff like that. And there's also a lot of people who are just completely fine with and they accept the fact that, oh, hey, I don't like you. I hate you. I want to beat your ass, but I'm going to wait until Sunday to do it. But I, I really want to beat your ass, but I'm. I'm cool with waiting until Sunday. The Big Show, he was furious enough to actually go searching for him on Raw. So I, I like that little twist to it. But as great and as effective as everything that happened was with the Big Show, he's going to lose. Rusev, he's got it in the back. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. It was so great to see Big Show go backstage and go, hey, hey, where's Rusev's locker room? Oh, oh, sir, it's, it's over there. Oh, really? Uh, uh, which door? Uh, how about the one with the fucking name on it, dumbass? <laughs> 